Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I prepare green curry paste. Of course you can buy green curry paste in the shop but I personally don't like it. It's salty, even it's not green and doesn't have that aroma and taste which usually when you are in Asia or Th Thailand you get it in the food. To create that uh, things, I think only way you can create it in home. And green curry usually is quite hot, uh, or you know, and in, I don't like it to be that hot. In order to make it a bit milder, I use a lot of green capsicum. Anyhow, let's get a start to see how I prepare that green curry paste, and hopefully you do it and uh, you cook your meal with it and hopefully you can give your feedback to me as well. Let's get started. All right, ingredient we need is lemongrass, uh, red onion or shallot, garlic, uh, green chili. If you like very hot, you can add more chili, but I don't. Uh, some uh, fresh, uh, Ginger, uh, I use some miso soup, uh, paste, cumin grinded, salt, coriander grounded, uh, lime zest. Then we have uh, a green capsicum. I have two. I'm making for two meal. This is, you know, is a more than one meal. We have some kefir lime, which is going to add to, um, to uh, a bit of it to the uh, paste as well, but not all of those ones. Uh, I'm going to add them when I'm cooking the actually curry. We have coriander, we have two bunch of the coriander, and I put a bit of the root as well because it gave extra taste. And I use a blender to just blend all of them together. And in the end, uh, sometimes I add um, basil leaf as well, but you can add your basil to the actually carry if you don't have that one. And that's it. Let's now see how we're gonna prepare this. So the first thing, um, I have some boiled water here. This is a trick to show another video as well. You put your garlic in those hot water, boiled water, and and leave it for a few minutes, and that helps to peel those uh, the skin of the garlic much easier. Uh, I have a big um, blender, therefore I, you know, roughly chop on uh, coriander to make this area a bit more accessible. I put it in the blender. As you can see, I use a lot of greens and that's the reason I get that nice color. Again, with your capsicum. I just again cut them and get the seed out. You don't need to really, if you have a good blender, you don't need to worry that much. However, when you come to lemongrass, lemongrass they are quite tough. What I do usually, I'll cut them right in the middle. Just watch your hand. It kind of helps to, if sometimes there's going between those layers of the plant and you can see if it's dead or not. Uh, 
I could have cut them in the half. And then just chop them a bit. getting a bit full. I add those chili in. There was frozen chili. I didn't have fresh chili in the hand. And uh, okay. I peeled our ginger and just chopped them quite roughly. And I added to again blender. Uh, I add a bit of um, something which I didn't mention. Uh, uh, fish sauce to the mix to help to blend together, you need a bit of moisture. But then I add about maybe, you know, two tablespoons. And then garlic, I'll just cut the end bit. Because it was sitting in the boiled water is easy, just to peel off as you can see. how easy it is when you garlic is sitting in the hot water just peel easy and it's less messy then I'm gonna cut our onion You can use, if you have shallots, it's much better, but you know, red onion will do as well. I try to use the ingredient which you can find it much easier all around the year. Just gonna put my rings on. into blender and I'm gonna zap it again Let's see how this goes this time um, for this one I use very fine leaf maybe just three enough and I just actually cut the wine off because it's a bit too rough otherwise Very nice citrusy taste. And zest. This is going to use. This is lime. If you have kaffir lime, have a lot of easy zest, but no more lime will do. The beautiful lime from the trees are in backyard. Now we're going to add another ingredient, our coriander, I'm going to put three teaspoons. That's cumin, sorry. This is coriander, again the same, I use four teaspoons.
we add two teaspoon of the rock salt. And finally, miso soup paste. Use two tablespoons of that one, two teaspoons. Finally, paste is ready, well blended as you can see, um, and we're gonna put it in the jar. Uh, some of them we're gonna use it fresh, uh, the second lot, um, gonna froze the part. Um, this paste, as I said, look at the color, actual real proper green, unlike what you get in the shop. And the smell, I have to say, is fantastic. I hope you can make this one as well. You can um, watch my next video, which I'll show you how I prepare the green curry. A fish green curry and you can do the next lot I'm gonna do chicken if you're interested you just uh, keep looking for my next videos and you're gonna learn how to can prepare and our green curry paste is ready and it's actually green and yeah all the best I'll see you up to next video and keep healthy and eat a lot of healthy food. Bye-bye.